Hello, everybody. Welcome to this week's Narc Fest. Today, we're just doing something different. I'm not going to tell you what movie we're going to watch because we are because we don't expect you to watch it because it's that damn bad. Wow. We're doing Jurassic World Dominion. I hate this movie. I... I, I got nothing. I don't know what to say. We just wanted we just want to snark it so we can get it out of the way and then forget about it, it ever existed. You've seen this movie, haven't you? Though I have not. Oh, I thought you said that your nephew wanted to see it. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. He, no, he did want to see it. Um, we just never actually made it to the theater when I was hanging out with him. It was Fair a enough. long movie. Like it's a long movie, and we just didn't have that kind of time. Uh, 147 minutes. So yeah, it is a longer movie. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. it is on Amazon prime. Uh, although no one's going to be watching it with us. And if you are watching it with us, there is help available. People do love you. We're just masochists apparently. So yeah, let's get into this. Go ahead. Get your pulled up ready. Um, I've already started the movie and then paused it at zero. So I'll let you get a chance to load it up. So we don't have any loading issues. I'm at zero one. That was okay, a... close enough. I so, turned to turn on subtitles, and that was as far like every time I try to rewind it, it just that was as fine. Far as it it's close enough. I'm not too worried about one second. No. So everybody, again, don't watch this with us. Just forget this movie ever existed. Just listen to us rant about it because that's going to be funner, funner but than it's actually. Not the original Jurassic Park cast. I'm excited. Like for, you know, don't be excited. Like Lower the expectations. Gonna, gonna All right, everybody. Three, two, one, play. Oh, my still wants to load, apparently. Oh, shit. No. Let me know, I guess, when you're going. I'm at seven seconds in. Okay, it just started playing. Okay. Seven seconds, eight seconds. Not yeah, so we should be close. I see Universal oh. just coming into frame now. Ah, uh, you were ahead of me, but that's okay. Oh, yeah. crap. The Universal is now in front of the planet, so we should be pretty close. 26 seconds. Amblin Entertainment, which really has gone downhill. If that's Oh, I can turn that down a little bit. Now... Something that gets me. This is the ship is the saga. So I'm like, okay, did they go to the deadliest catch crew and then you know get them to you know go around to them? Like, hey, we want to use your boat. I don't know. They could have. I mean, because I know the saga is a boat on deadliest catch, although I don't really watch the show. So uh, wow, that is a megalodon, isn't it? Uh it's no, megalodon would be a shark. That's a mosasaur. Um I don't think okay. a Mosasaur would be interested in going after a bit of crab, though. They'd be interested more in going after, like, whales, whale sharks and stuff like that. Now, here we see that dinosaurs are in the world. And it this raises the question of how how is that possible? Because we saw at the end of the last movie that... All the dinosaurs, that, I mean, how many dinosaurs escaped? Maybe a couple hundred, and that's being very, very generous. Hold so on. I feel like they also that just mentioned the original Jurassic Park, like, happening 30 years ago. I feel like it's a mix of things between what happened in the last movie and how the island of Isla Nubar was left to its own devices anyway. Yeah. Why would anybody want to still be living here with fucking di How have we not just nuked all the dinosaurs? I don't know. Because here's the thing. What does America have a lot of? People with guns. You mean to tell me that there's no hunters going out and shooting these damn things? I don't buy it. You mean to tell and me nobody sent our tanks after this stuff? Like, I feel like with as dangerous as having a freaking velociraptor around would be somebody would have organized something to go after these things. No doubt. I mean, especially because I mean, like in like in, um, invasive species are such a huge problem all, all over the world. You know, I mean, you mean to tell me that 
that they're not that there's not hunting leagues going out and killing these dinosaurs or the governments getting together and killing these dinosaurs. Because like I said, there's a human clone. What is going on right now? Oh uh, yeah, uh, the little girl from the last movie, she's a clone. Uh and uh yeah, they're going completely they're trying to like I said, none of this makes any sense. They're trying to so set up they're a, saying oh, this, that they're oh. someone is using dinosaurs for pharmaceuticals and there's a yeah. human clone. Where well, I mean, I guess if you're cloning dinosaurs, human clones make sense. That's just a weird turn for these movies to take, I guess. Yeah. Well, like I said, it's just, none of it makes any sense because it's invasive not. species are such a huge deal. So, and Amer like I said, America has a lot of people with guns. I do not buy for a second that there are not hunting leagues going out and getting rid of these things because there's no, I mean, just imagine the amount of devastation a, a few Triceratops could have to the Pacific Northwest, just as an example. And there's no way dinosaurs are fucking bulletproof. And here, apparently, yeah. Oh, we need to save these dinosaurs. And by the way, the animatronics, is that seriously the best you can freaking do for dinosaurs? Seriously? Yeah. They look rubber. I'm sorry. You could, I could do better than this. They look rubber. They do not look like living things. <sighs> yeah, we need to. Apparently, uh, that is the boat. Um, I don't know if it's the boat but yes it's it's at it's legit the deadliest catch apparently it's also captained by jake anderson like yes it's it so is. they must have they must have went up to him been like hey we'll give you a you know a hundred thousand dollars let us let us use your boat cool <laughs> so hey that's one hell of a payday <laughs> and here we get the two extra being extra people or extra meat shields, meat bags, whatever you want to call them from the last movie. They're in this movie for a tiny little bit, but they're not in it for long. So I don't know why the hell they even bothered bringing them back if they're just going to be in this for this little bit. Do they die? No, they're right there. It's just they're, It's just after this scene, they're really not in the movie at all. So it makes no sense as to why. And plus, okay, we're going to free this one Triceratops. Why just that one? You're doing a very shit job if you're trying to rescue these creatures. I have and by the way, close the fucking doors! They had closed them. Why the hell did they randomly open back up? They were I closed. Don't doors don't just open like that unless your handle's broken. Yeah. Yeah, and... uh. Again, how are these di how are there this many dinosaurs? We saw at the end of the last movie, the only dinosaurs around are the ones that escaped from the mansion. How are there hundreds, if not thousands, of these flipping things all over the place? It makes no sense. And how are they like in Europe? I have no idea. I guess people would have again, bought them. Yeah, black and again, and, and it's like, okay, we're gonna go save these dinosaurs, so we're gonna open one cage and get one of them out of there. You know, for the rest, of, the rest of them can just say, "Screw it, we're not gonna help them. We're just gonna rescue the one." Yeah, and here he's like, "Yeah, I got a real job. I'm good." Yeah. Yeah, and here it's like, what? I don't get it. Why is she so upset? She was just the freaking manager of the park. Why is she so upset that she exploit exploited these dinosaurs in the same way that anybody who manages a zoo exploits the animals? I don't get it. Um, she feels bad because she also is a part of the reason why they were taken off the island and like brought here and then escaped in the last movie. She wasn't exactly in charge of that because she was, you know, that wasn't her call. She was being lied to and manipulated for it. But she still feels bad about yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. And here, uh, we're, yeah, we got Owen and a couple other cowboys chasing yeah, they're down just the they're just turning up dinosaurs like a couple of cows. And this makes yeah. perfect sense. Where's home? What are you doing? 
And by the way, the Paraphylophosaurus could probably outrun a flipping horse. These things were massive animals with long legs. I would be um, shocked if they could not outrun a how horse. How are these dinosaurs even living in the snow? Isn't the Ice Age what killed them? I'm just kidding. The Ice Age was obviously a <laughs> lot colder than this. <laughs> no, um, I'm kidding. <laughs> It is hard to say because a lot because we actually don't know, but we do think that a lot of dinosaurs were warm blooded, so it is possible they could survive in snow. Uh, here, no way in hell would this. There's no way in hell would uh, your horse be able to outpower a pair of no. swords. That animal weighs seven yeah, I... tons at least. Yeah, there's no that rope ain't holding. No. Mm -mm. Yeah, like I said, that animal weighs at least seven tons. <laughs> yeah, it could easily snap that rope. It's a massive freaking animal. What about all here, the rest? You just want one of them? Apparently, I guess. Or, although, where are the other two yahoos that were with him? That's what I mean. Like, they were chasing a whole herd. Although, here, his hand signal. That only worked on Blue because he was training Blue. How come this dinosaur respects it? I'm I think sorry. like putting your hand out is what people generally think you're supposed to do with animals to show that you're not threatening. I don't know how true that is, but I feel like that's just something that Hollywood tells you is what you do to tame animals magically. Uh, I can tell you magically. this. If you do that to a wolf, you're going to get mauled. If you do it to a lot of animals, it's not going to do shit. Yeah. No, I mean, especially with the wolf. If you put your hand up above the wolf, it, it, it views it as a threat. So you want to put your hand under, If you, like I said, if you encounter a wild wolf, I mean, number one, if you encounter a wild wolf, just yell at it. It should go away. But if it doesn't, don't put your hand above it. You put your hand underneath it. Because if it's above it, that the wolf views that as a threat. You got to go underneath. You got to go underneath the eye line so you're not appear, don't appear threatening. And here, the little girl from the other movie that's a clone. And apparently he is really, yeah, I don't know. So did some, did he clone her while like the original person was still alive? Or did he uh, clone her when his wife died? I don't know. I can't remember, honestly. Although, yeah, so it's, it's like, yeah, she needs to go up to this construction site, no worries. This seems like a strange way to do it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, like I said, she can go into this construction work, this construction site, and no one cares. Yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure people would be like, no, get out of here. People would definitely care. Yeah. You're not just allowed to go into construction sites because, you know, there's a lot of dangerous shit that could hurt you. There is. You're not supposed to enter construction sites without the proper footwear or hardware. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Everyone oh, will be like, dinosaur walking party. through and everybody's just focused on that. I'm pretty sure that thing would be freezing to death. That's what I said. I wasn't yeah. being serious. Uh, I will say, I really don't think a herbivore would, I mean, I wouldn't want to be that close to a herbivore because herbivores are generally more, are generally a lot worse than carnivores because carnivores you just have to look like you're not dinner and they'll generally leave you alone herbivores yeah, you look like anything that even remotely can kind of maybe considered a threat they will fuck you up i mean zebras hippos they kill far moose even kill far more people than any I still don't you know, understand bears. how humans are even still alive when things like velociraptors are living in the world shotguns <laughs> tactical shotgun is why we're still alive yeah well like i said like i said you mean to tell me that there's not hunting leagues after these damn things i don't buy it because like you, like James said, a tactical shotgun, an AR-15. I can think of plenty of guns that would do a hell of a lot of damage to a lot of dinosaurs. They're not bulletproof. They're big animals, but they're not bulletproof. Yeah, and apparently, uh, their uh, player took her in as her daughter. I guess. <laughs> Yeah, and apparently said our, uh, her limit is you can't go past the bridge that we saw her crossing because of reasons.
Because what's going to get set up here, I remember in a second, is that they don't, is that they took her, but they didn't tell any of the governments that, oh, by the way, we're taking this little child. Which, by the way, very, very illegal. <laughs> well, if they were to have told someone, child services would have taken her and she would have ended up in the foster system. Well, I think they could have applied to have custody of her. I don't think it works as easily as you make it sound, which is why they probably I don't tell anyone. Like I said, I her. don't know exactly what goes into it. I do. My older brother is currently dealing with foster situation, so I do know a little bit about that. But like I said, this girl has no family. Yeah, she, would have, she has nothing she at would all. Have gone into so the hard, so I she would have know. gone into the system, and if they specifically wanted her, they probably would have had to apply to be fosters, and it, it can take a while. I don't know how easy it was for your brother, but I know some, I've got friends too that have tried it and it was very, very stressful on them. And I don't think they actually yeah. ever made it. That's a good point. But yeah, I don't, but still, I don't think just taking her without letting anybody know would be a good idea because like I said, that is kind of very illegal. It is. It's essentially yeah, kidnapping. Claire and Owen are now completely in a relationship. <laughs> they essentially kidnapped her. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, Claire, yeah, it's like Claire tried to talk to her, uh, but it didn't work. But we just saw that Maisie is apparently a hell of a lot closer to Owen. Oh, yeah, by the way, Blue's here. Oh, wait, that's not Blue. That's Blue's kid because apparently Blue has a daughter. And dinosaurs respect their outers and what? No, that's okay. Yeah, like I said, it doesn't make any sense. This is a very dumb movie. Yes, it is. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, we're just going to ignore the fact that there's no male for Blue to mate with. So how did she have a have a, have a kid? I don't know. You, you do but... realize that was taken care of in the very first Jurassic Park. Yeah. Like in the very first Jurassic Park, they said that they had all females. And yet somehow they were laying fertilized eggs because life finds a way. That's where that comes from. Let me I clarify. In the first it. one, is in the first one, it said that other that some of the some of the raptors had changed into males to to create new life. There is no other Velociraptor. There's one raptor, one that was blue, <laughs> and she somehow laid laid a clone egg. Even though they I think don't she think was that. pregnant when they took her off the island. Apparently, apparently, <laughs> I don't know. <gasps> I like how they were hunting the rabbit just to get whatever was going to hunt the rabbit. <laughs> yeah, they just hunted the fox that was hunting the rabbit. I don't know. Uh, you have to explain like to her not to cut. I'm sorry. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Is, is it really that hard to figure out? Is it really that hard to figure out to cut away from yourself when you're whittling? Because you don't want to have the knife cutting it under your own hand? You Some people really are just explain dumb. that. Some people are that dumb. I had a good point. <laughs> Granted, I should. I didn't. I tell you about the idiot who decided. Yeah, we're gonna freaking start an electrical fire inside a flooded room. Yeah, that was a fun day. <laughs> Thankfully, said employee was canned instantly. <laughs> See, here's the thing. So, sure, they kidnapped her. But, like, if they live in an area where no one knows who they are anyway, no one's going to question this family with their 14-year-old daughter. Yeah. No, but they gotta like, live out in the middle of nowhere so no one can see them, so that way no one can know that they have her, apparently. I mean, I think they live in the middle of nowhere because they own velociraptors as pets. Like, I just... just no, the, no, they don't own Blue. Blue's not... Blue just lives near them because they don't actually own Blue. That becomes that comes especially clear later. Because uh -huh. here's the thing: if if what James had just said was actually a plot in the movie, I would actually buy that. Unfortunately, it's not. Blue just happens to live near them. Happens to live near them, it, like it decided. Blue yeah, likes apparently. Chris Pratt still. Yeah, apparently it's still yeah. 
So oh, they yeah. asked this girl because she's a clone. Like, I still don't understand what her deal is. Uh, but we're in Texas now. We got we got to start introducing the plot point of the movie. Oh. Uh, yeah, that's why we're in Texas now because apparently the plot of the movie hasn't started yet. And yeah, here we see that the main villain is not dinosaurs. It's giant fucking bugs. Where yeah, did this that's even exactly come what from? we want to see in Jurassic Park movie. What? What? Why do dinosaurs suddenly make insects this big? It's not the dinosaurs doing it, but uh, yeah. Like I said, yeah, this is exactly what we need. A Jurassic Park movie where we're watching. We are watching a Jurassic Park movie so we can see dinosaurs. What 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 should we put in to make it more extreme? Should we maybe put in like a bigger dinosaur so that way we can thrill the audience? No, nah, we're just going to no, make a fuck. They already did the bigger dinosaur thing. That was Jurassic World, the first one. With the Indominus Rex or whatever it's called. Well, they technically did it every... Uh, they technically did it every movie. Because in the first one, it was T-Rex. In the second no, one, it was two T-Rex. T-Rex makes sense because that was a dinosaur. And the first Jurassic yeah. World movie, they literally made a larger dinosaur from other dinosaurs just to make a larger dinosaur. Yeah. Because they were already like, we already have three Jurassic Park movies. Why is somebody going to want to watch this fourth one? Let's make a bigger dinosaur and put it in. They're literally out of ideas yeah. now. And here we see the, um, uh, Ellie on. Sattler no, from the original because, no, yeah, she needs to be in this movie. Yes. Yeah. I don't understand why Ellie Sattler, a paleobotanist, is worried about car farms, but hey, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, it turns out giant for They're trying the to do the whole remove sunglasses thing that worked in the first movie. Yeah, and there here we're establishing that the uh, that the giant grasshoppers only eat they don't eat the biosyn seed apparently. Oh my which god. Which doesn't make any sense. I, I don't know how the hell you go, how you can coordinate that, but what do I know? And now we're in Utah. We're just globe trotting all over this movie because God forbid the characters keep together. Well, no, this is we're seeing the original people from the first movie. They've moved on with life and they're all over the place. Yeah, Alan Grant here. Yeah. See, they're still trying to use the original. Yeah, and here he's like trying to give them a motivational speech, and no one's listening because now they're just mirroring the first movie again. Yep. And the second, or the third. Yeah, that too. Third. Third. The second was just uh, Jeff Goldblum. Yeah. I don't think you, I don't, I don't know about you, but I've never met a long lost friend and been like, hello, a person, a hello, first and last name. I always just be like, hey, I don't, I generally don't even say their name, but. Um, I feel right like here. it's been a really long time and I feel like they have a history and that's why he felt the need to say her entire name. Of yeah. all the bars of the world, she had to walk into mine. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, and there is like, yeah, the funding dried up. Because like like I mentioned in when we did, I think we it was when we did three, being a paleontologist is not exactly a good paying job because, but I mean, it is one of the least funded scientist sciences in the world. But, uh, yeah. And here, oh, yeah, uh, we found out that she got divorced from her husband because, yeah, apparently we need to, yeah, I'm not, I'm just going to spoil this. We need to have Ellie and Ellie and Grant get, Ellie and Grant get together because reasons. Well, everybody thought it was going to happen in the first movie, except Alan didn't want kids, so we knew it wasn't actually going to happen. Yeah. So, yeah, they, like I said, they just can't have a, there's no, 
the biggest flaw of Jurassic Park is that there's no one thing you can go, okay, this is this is the one consistent thing. And because it's just like, oh yeah, I'll, we're together, but we're not together because she got married. Oh well, she got divorced, so now we're gonna get back to I don't know. And here, he's a paleontologist. Why are you asking him about a bug? I because don't... it looks like an old bug, something that he would have dug up before. I don't know. I don't buy that because what? how how are we, how is an old bug supposed to be explained? How are we supposed to explain what an old bug would do when we hardly know anything about it? All we have are little, just little tiny remains. Yeah, and here. All again, like we said, all the crops, they're only eating the crops that are not biosyn seeds. So how did biosyn apparently I don't know. No, because they really put nice something in the genetics of their seeds to make the bugs not want to eat them. But you know, the ones well, then why are, well, here's the question. Why is biosyn trying to eventually start eating even the biosyn seed? Like that's nobody actually thought this through. They made yeah. biosyn seed with something in it that bugs won't want to eat. They made bugs to purposely not eat whatever it is they put in the seed. Eventually, these bugs they made that have no predators are going to eat everything else. And then they're going to want to eat the biosynthesis yeah. because there's literally nothing else. And then what do you do then? You make, I guess, um, a giant wolf to eat the bugs. Like, this is how you a giant get... Wolf. I'm no, just... giant snakes. <laughs> giant spiders let's go bring in the wild hogs to take care of the mongoose problem you introduced like <laughs> this isn't the first time people have created or brought in something to solve a problem only to create a bigger problem why i oh my know God, that. Is that the book he wrote in the second book no that's he looks way too old but i see he's still writing books and i find yes, that helpful. malcolm is still writing books Oh, by the way, I, did I tell you about the, my biggest problem with the audiobook of The Lost World? He, he died? No. In The Lost World audiobook, the guy reading the Why audiobook... Why is the relocation from, facility in Pennsylvania? Yeah. No, but in the audiobook... It would make more sense to have a relocation facility in Texas or Utah or someplace that has more land than freaking Pennsylvania. Yeah, yeah, that that kind of confused me too because Pennsylvania is not exactly no an open spot. Pennsylvania it's, it's is very not, open. Like it doesn't have access to like a seaport or the best airlines or anything except maybe trains. Like if this was well, right next to the like they're flying them no out. So yeah, it doesn't make sense. Like, there's just. No, it doesn't have a lot of good ways of transporting things like this. Mm. Except by train. Yeah. No, but apparently they're using Pennsylvania to fly them out because of reasons. Because, yeah, no, like we said, they're not using trains. We clearly see they're using flex. jets. Yeah, okay. So, no, but uh, the reason I don't like listening to the audiobook is because whenever the guy reading the audiobook speaks for Malcolm, he's always using the Jeff Goldblum accent and gets really fucking annoying. Oh no, that sounds amazing. Unless it's a bad. Oh movie. no, it isn't. Oh, here we see Maisie introduced to Beta. Oh yeah, and by the way, the little dinosaur is named Beta because that's the one new board they didn't use. Blue was clearly Beta in the first one to begin with. Yeah, and I always but figured she make... was Beta, but they called her Blue because of the blue stripe down her back. Yeah. Yeah, there, you look just like Blue. Yeah, really? Thanks. Uh, clearly, Blue somehow cloned herself. And Maisie's yeah. a clone. So that's why yeah. Maisie and Beta have this connection. Oh, don't worry. It gets, it gets explained. They the apparently know unique. it. And they can recognize other clones. And they just automatically trust each other on that genetic level. So who's Maisie cloned with? Someone, some, some Lockwood. That I, I don't know. I can't remember if we're supposed to know who she is or not. Mm. Yeah. Like I said, don't worry. They have, they have, they explain it, but the explanation makes absolutely no sense. But yeah, we'll, we'll, yeah. I don't know. She clearly nested next to you because she trusts you for some stupid reason. Yeah, that's what I would assume, but. 
Blue is somehow like a wild dog that you've semi-tamed. Yeah, that's being very generous. <laughs> yeah, and they don't notice that this truck is on their property, apparently, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, even if they live oh, in the middle like of nowhere, there's not, sorry. like, they would have put up, if they have any kind of driveway, they would have put a fence or gate on it to keep yeah. people out. I know teenagers are idiots, but seriously. Yeah. Well, they're decimating the local wildlife. Yeah, like I said, there is no way that these dinosaurs would exist. Yeah, and apparently she just laid that, apparently Blue just laid the fox right on a trap that was right there, apparently, and they didn't notice. Yeah, um, that would kill it. Raptor bones how, were hard. How did the fox not trigger the trap? This I don't know. But yeah. I love the little sense all of this is making. That was clearly supposed to be a 3D effect of the dinosaur jumping at your face. Yeah. I like how on his Texas license plates, when they're clearly in like what, one of the Dakotas or somewhere up north. I, I would assume Dakotas or Montana. Because Texas can have snow, but not that kind of forest. If Texas has that kind of snow, don't you just shut the fucking state down? No, like northern parts of Texas will see snow. Okay, that I is like fair. There's suddenly no snow. Texas is freaking huge, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're kidnapping the little girl. I see that. Yeah. I like how there's snow where he's at, and there's no and snow. No, yeah, it was a nice sunny day. Looking at. Yeah, I'm from Wyoming. That happens. <laughs> Yeah, poachers found her because they... Yeah. You've seen them around and you didn't say anything and you didn't move. Yep. Everybody in this movie is an idiot. Yep, uh, hello, there's Blue. Oh my god. You've seen them around and you just... Yeah, Blue's pissed by the way. Apparently, Blue can understand him. Because, yeah, here's the thing. I'm pretty sure she'd actually probably just eat them because it's hard to say for certain, but she just saw that humans took her kid. So it is very possible she would just identify all humans as bad and just start attacking yeah, humans. She, because that's she what likes and bears Chris do. Pratt, remember? They yeah. had that bond in the first movie. Yeah, this guy got a real job at the CIA, by the way. Well, yeah, he has, he's worked with the dinosaurs. He would be perfect for this crap. So the CIA just started up a dinosaur branch, apparently? Again, there are dinosaurs about. Did I not say the governments would have put something up to start hunting them down? I would think that would more fall under the EPA, not the CIA. What's the EPA going to do about it? The Environmental Protection Agency, I think, has more more. The CIA the is probably tracking the down the people who are selling agency. them on the black market, like internationally. Because again, the dinosaurs were brought to America, shouldn't be in other continents other than the Americas, and yet they oh, are. are. They're everywhere, by the way. They're not just that's in America. What I, that's all what I mean. So the CIA is set up because clearly people are selling these internationally on the black market. CIA. I don't know. I still think that'd be a. We'll, we'll we'll go with that. We will. I will. I'm going to buy that, even though I don't really buy that. I won't buy any of it. Yeah. I'll, I'll, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And as a uh, other guy, his a. Uh, uh, backup guy from the from the Jurassic World movie. He's working with them too. Again, they all have experience with dinosaurs. If you're going to, why didn't up... they call Owen? Because Owen is in hiding in the middle of nowhere. They couldn't find him or contact him. 
you are giving this movie a lot more leeway than I am. I, I'm just saying some of it does make sense. Very bad movie. <laughs> yeah, it is a very bad movie. Nothing else makes sense about it, but some of it does. Oh, yeah, they're totally getting together now. Yeah. Yeah, this is completely unnecessary. Yeah. Like I said, I think they should have just left them together from the first movie and then worked that through the entire way. But hey, what do I what do I know? I know nothing. Bios and Sanctuary in Italy. Italy, by the way, is where they're setting up the new dinosaur sanctuary. Even though I don't think Italy would be a really good spot because it's very mountainous. Where were these two when they were making Jurassic World? Like, I would have been like, hello. <laughs> like, I shut yeah. down Jurassic Park. Yeah, it's like, Park we looked through this. Reason. We know what happens. But no, what? no one was. Yeah. I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. In the same, I mean, it's the same thing. It's the same thing that we had against the Star, the Star Wars is like, there is no cohesive of A, B, C. It's A, applesauce, blue chimpunk. It, none of the story makes any sense at all. The T-Rex, yeah, they got Rexy here, by the way. Yeah. Nope, I'm out. I'm out. Yeah, yeah it's like, I don't need to reunion with Rexy. <laughs> like, one... I'm glad the T-Rex isn't out and about anymore. But two, I do not need to be in a park with him. Been there, done that. Yeah. yeah. Although, here's the question. If a T if a fully grown T-Rex were alive, would it even be able to survive with how little food there is? I don't I don't think so. I don't think a T-Rex would be able to survive. If it were in Africa, maybe. But would have to eat pretty much solely elephants and hippos and rhinos. But even I don't think a T Rex would be able to survive. I mean, in anywhere else, certainly not in America. I don't think they'd be able to survive with the limited food food resources we have. At least and not at least and not get shot as a result. Because like I said, there are a lot of people with guns, a lot of farmers who don't really particularly like it when people start killing their stuff. So Yep, yeah. and there's Giganotosaurus, which is apparently a thing. Yeah, here they also have implants in the in the in the dinosaurs that can apparently herd them around. They can mind control dinosaurs. Yeah, I don't know either. Yeah, yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what was so funny there that everybody was so young? No, the announcement about Dr. Ian Malcolm's uh, oh. lecture <laughs> on ethics. <laughs> Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, here, uh, apparently they need to get a camera shot because... Yeah, these guys are, apparent, are legends around and apparently no one's coming up to take pictures with the legends. It's just the main boss. They're, guy there. they're legends, but no one bothered to ask them, like, Can I get your autograph? on setting this stuff up to begin with. Yeah. There's no, there's no signing tour or anything. Yeah. Like they didn't ask them to come work for them. I mean, Alan Grant clearly could use the money. Like, I. <laughs> Are they at Biosyn now? Yeah.
Yeah, if you have food, like one of my bars, what is this? I don't know. None of that makes sense. <laughs> No, 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 no. A trip out. Nope. 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 You're just all in on these just burn the dinosaurs to the ground, aren't you? Yes. Well, that's what I would do. These two of all people should be as well. They were almost eaten by a T-Rex. Multiple times. Yes. <laughs> and here, here's your favorite part of the movie, Jeff Goldblum. Hooray. Unfortunately, he does not get shirtless. <laughs> and here, I'm, I'm sorry, with the way they focused in on the these these students' faces, I'm just expecting the Indiana Jones things. Yeah. Like, <laughs> That's it. Love slowly. you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Marry me. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and... Uh, you're apparently not very good at giving a speech because this is not exactly an inspirational speech. Yeah, uh, we already discussed, mind you, we already know this in the movie, but yeah, these students don't look enraptured in what he's saying. They look like they're about to fall asleep. And I know it's hard to, I know it's hard to do this, especially on a soundstage, because it's like, okay, you got to have take after take after take. Um, so I get that they're all probably bored out of their flipping skulls, but seriously, you know, you could be like, okay, okay, right before our take, we're gonna play some lively music to at least energize these kids who look like they're about to pass out. Uh, no, yeah. <laughs> And here, apparently, apparently, he's talking about get it starting AI. We must transform human consciousness into I don't know. Yeah, and apparently, he can see into the crowd, which he didn't really way, say anything. Yeah. Now, the part that got me is like he can see into the crowd, even though all the spotlights are on him. And I've actually been on a stage with spotlights on you. You can't see shit. You're lucky if you can see the first two rows, much less everything beyond. It's one of the things I remember from doing stage crew stuff in high school. Is like you can't see Jack. You have you are freaking reliant on the spotlights. Uh, he. The second movie that was his kid. He did mention having kids in that one. Yeah, Kelly. Yeah, he had a Kelly in the second movie. She's not in this movie, by the way. No, oh, that's lame. I don't know why, but yeah, you would think she was. What about the two other kids from the first Jurassic Park movie? Yeah, they're not in here either. Which is a real shame. It's like, you know, if you're going to get the entire crew back together, get the entire flipping crew back together. Especially since the one that played the boy is still acting. Yeah, he's still acting. He was just, oh, like, what was that? He was just, I he, he was, was just in Stranger Things, but I can't remember. It was he? He was, because I was going to say he was just in um, Bohemian Rhapsody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's still acting. He's still, he's still, I mind you, I don't, I, the girl, I don't think she's still acting because, Charlie, yeah, I have the really credits for last time. Strength. She hasn't really done much, yeah. Yeah, she's done exactly two movie series that I'm aware of. One, the Jurassic Park, so she was in Jurassic Park and the Lost World, and two, Tremors. So we'll have, and by the way, we'll have to do Tremors sometime too. But yeah, other, I, but yeah, it's like, why couldn't you get her? I don't know. And here, the they're getting the coffee because re yeah. And here, I like how they how he pulls her out of the camera range. And here, Ian Malcolm's like the inside guy; he knows everything. <laughs> and Alan Grant's getting into an argument with a barista. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, these two are having a very important conversation. Alan Grant, he's yelling at a barista. Well, Alan Grant doesn't really care anyway. Fair enough. He's only there because of Ellie. <laughs> yeah, I love, yeah, it's like. <sighs> and here, oh yeah, she he's flirting with my girlfriend, even though you're not. I've got five spiders. <laughs> <laughs> 
I, I don't drink coffee, so I don't know exactly what the proper way to make a they're macchiato just, is. They're just making fun of coffee. Like, I, I don't know what five spices... That whole conversation was just ridiculous. Yes. Yes. Like, let's talk milks. Dude, just make it milk unless they specify what they want. Like... Yeah. They ordered a cappuccino. Like, like I said, we don't I do that. We do these macchianos and crotons. I don't even know what they said. Like, that's, they were just, it was ridiculous for her stuff. Yeah. Well, like I said, I don't drink coffee, so I don't know. And here we see Dr. Wu, who is a, does not look good. He looks like he's just been run through the ringer a few times. Yeah, he's trying to take over the wow, world. Wow, I called this already. They're already... They're not dying. They're going yeah. to eat your seed. You release them yeah. for nothing. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, he's he's breeding the giant locust to eat all the other food so that his food will be the only food available. Therefore, he'll become super rich. At least until at least until other farmers figure out how to grow that seed and you know grow it because that's what always happens. <laughs> This poor guy has followed through on so many Jurassic World and Jurassic Park things. Why is he still like here? I said, he does. He looks like he's just been. He look. They look like. He looks, it looks like, like they took away the horse guy off the like like street. Him. All right. Led him to this point. <laughs> like I said, it looks like they just picked up a homeless guy off the street, and it's like, dude, what the? You do not look good. You, like I said, it I looks think like that's the just point. Got... He doesn't like where he's ended up. He. And he's just like, why am I here? Is this miserable? Yeah, yeah I'll buy yes. that. Yes. Yeah. And here, yeah, I'll destroy all your work. And it's like, I don't think he cares anymore. The dinosaurs shouldn't be living on Earth like this anyway. Yeah. Yeah, uh, he can apparently be manipulated so easily. It's this is very much the exact same situation that we had in Jurassic in a dress in the in um star wars episode three i am very clearly manipulating you right now what i am do i am manipulating you be manipulated and here now they're in malta <clears throat> and this girl who is apparently a big shot but she's only in about 30 uh, she's only in about yeah. 20 minutes of the movie yeah, seriously yeah new for no. no it's um What's up? You know who that is. It's, yes, it's whiskey. No, not whiskey. I'll take a shot of whiskey. <laughs> oh, I got her name mixed up. Oh, yeah, they also apparently got the uh, old I'm butler lady, I think. Cool. Or at least I think that's the old butler lady. I could be wrong. Oh, was she? I, I don't, I honestly don't remember anything from the second Jurassic World movie. This girl is, was in a bunch of Joss Whedon TV shows, which is why James and I know her. We just finished watching Dollhouse. I actually never watched Dollhouse, honestly. It's a weird show. By the time I learned that Dollhouse was a thing, it was taken off the air, and I just never got around to actually watching it, so. I've heard good things, but I just... Anyway, doing oh God, I only brought it up for this one actress. We're getting off topic. Fair enough. <laughs> <clears throat> I bet she wishing that she'd listen to mom. She was also in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Again, she's a Joss Whedon actress. Did Joss Whedon do this movie? No. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the lady there, apparently she has, she feels guilty about lady, yeah. About kidnapping a fourteen-year-old girl. Yeah, yeah, she does feel guilty about kidnapping. Yeah, here's this guy who was not in the last movie, even though he probably should have been. But yeah, he's in this movie. <laughs> yeah. Does Malta actually look like this? I don't know. It I've might. never been. I have no idea. Yeah, I don't know. It. I would hope it does, but I like I said, I don't know. This feels very much more. I don't know. It's hard to say. What are you getting at? Uh, I don't know what I'm getting at anymore. I don't know. Yeah, I was going to say they probably filmed on location. 
Maybe. Malta. Yes, Malta. that is what Malta looks like. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. It just it's, it's just it seems so it everything just seems like it's made out of sand and dirt and stuff. So it doesn't be or maybe yeah, maybe some places look like that because that's what's available for them to build from. Oh yeah, here by the way, uh, they have dinosaur fighting rings. Oh, that stuff. makes sense. Oh, there's a kitty. Uh, Percy. Yeah. No. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, you were right. They are black market selling dinosaurs because apparently people just want to sell. Oh, look at Diametrodon. Those got bigger than that. I wonder why it's so small. Anyway. Because it's a baby. And they filmed on location. This is that is Malta. That okay, so yeah, fair enough. <laughs> and that guy who's apparently important. Yeah, shit. Thousands of kilo of dinos. So one dinosaur. Yeah, pretty much. Either one big dinosaur or a bunch of small dinosaurs. Burr, sit down. Come on, Burr. Yeah, here. And by the way, this is not exactly a good idea. It's like, by the way, I need help. Let me. I'm in the criminal <laughs> underground. I need help finding this. Yeah, because <laughs> she could easily just be. What if she was not a help? Was she was not a good guy? What if she decided to sell you out? <laughs> I mean, Claire is still dressed way too pretty for most of the yeah. stuff she's doing. Definitely. Yeah, she's in the criminal underground. I don't think she can get involved because getting involved would just be a just lead her into more problems. I love the one guy just sitting there eating a dinosaur off a of spit because why not? That's our undercover agent. <laughs> Saw him for once for 30 seconds, but he, but he, oh man, he's got a very photographic memory, I guess. He said he saw the poachers around before they took them. Hmm. <sighs> I don't know. Maybe I'm just losing my mind. I'm yeah, they got snipers. It's about that comment to begin with. <laughs> like I said, I, it's very possible I've just completely erased this movie from my mind because it was so bad that I forgot. Well, the setup is awful. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. Atrociraptors, <laughs> yep. Yeah, and here, this is, uh, they're taking the uh, Indograptor thing of, we can mark a target with a laser, and the dinosaur will permanently hunt that target until it's dead. I don't know. how. Apparently, they managed to, to completely fix that. I don't know. I don't think you are in a position, mean, Grant, I know she's a teenager, but I don't think she's actually be in a position to ask questions. Well, they didn't gag her and tie her up, so yeah, ask yeah. questions. Start shooting. Yeah, you yeah, you captured the guys and you just because you decided to not shoot instantly, you just the bunch of them got away. Ouch. Ow. Yeah, that would hurt too. No one else cares that people are running through knocking their bunch of shit over, but yeah. Um, I guess it's an everyday occurrence there. Yep. 
Spike strip. And they just blew that's through a flipping thing. wall. I don't know. Is that the thing carrying the yes, address to rest? Yes, that's bad. Yes. Copies everywhere. Is that Chris Pratt? Yeah. Carnotaurus missing a horn. Whee! Yeah, and here, uh, Owen again using the hand signals, which apparently works on Carnotaurus. Oh, Owen obviously can just talk to dinosaurs. I don't know what else you want from me. He's the dinosaur whisperer. <laughs> That's all I got. He's the dinosaur whisperer, apparently. Oh, yeah, he threw them into the pit. He trained blue fighting. from birth to That's know this hand signal, and now suddenly all dinosaurs inherently know to trust Chris Pratt yeah. when he puts his hand up. Yep, apparently. <laughs> that is a little baby Whoa, dinosaur. Baby. Ouch, <laughs> ouch, <laughs> ouch. He's on fire. Whoa, 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 I'm sure whoa. That. Stop dropping oh, no, you think you, you think dinosaurs like their meat well done? Fast enough, in my opinion. <laughs> I don't know. Do you think the dinosaurs like their meat well done? <laughs> uh, that will hold on, hold on. The dinosaur there, the, the it's not a dinosaur, but the one on the right hand, that's not number. It's it wasn't a dinosaur. It was, um, I don't remember what it's called, but it was a herbivore. So I don't know why it's attacking this guy. It was eating uh, the baryon the baby baryonyx here. Yeah, that that's that's certainly a carnivore, and that uh, it's going to be very angry. Roar! Om nom nom. Why did it go for him and not for Chris Pratt? Because he's the well, the guy was laying there helpless, whereas Chris Pratt could probably put up a fight. Maybe that I don't know. <coughs> what? Let out the. Don't do it. Uh, That's here's a terrible idea. idea. You jack. This part no, bugs me. These idiots have guns. Shoot the worse. fucking raptors. How did you even Shoot get them, them in the boxes to begin with? You should. Yeah, I don't really know. But right here, already. the dinosaurs are escaped. Shoot them. You Just have shoot guns. Them. Shoot them. I don't know why you're waiting. Yeah. Oh, or shoot crazy. her at least. Why didn't you shoot them? You have guns, you morons! They didn't even try to shoot them. Yeah, I know. none of this makes any sense. They were sense. close enough they could have gotten some decent headshots in, I feel like. They were close enough they could have put just put the gun right up against them and shot them. There was, they were literally five feet from them. What is even going on right now? They wanted to make a third dinosaur movie, and this is what they decided to make. Yeah. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Yeah. Yeah. Can you take care of it? Not for free. I'm pretty sure he wants to take care of. I don't think price is an option. But yeah, we're gonna have Claire go after this one lady. Claire's an action star. Apparently, they just leave their doors open in Malta. I guess. Ryan Dallas Howard. Um, I mean, she's good at directing action things, but I don't. Yeah, you're know not that. helping. This lady like, clearly is I feel able. Like she and why are you trying to reason her? with her? But they just didn't actually like design her character to be an action star. Wow, that is a hell of a tailor. It's because it's for dinosaurs. You don't use the cradle prod on people. You are trying to kill her with a knife. I'm pretty sure she's allowed to. Also, like. I feel like that would have hurt her a lot more than just... Yeah, I'm yeah, pretty sure it would knock her the fuck out. Yeah. I mean, that's used for dino dinosaurs, so yeah, that would have... Yeah, like, I'm pretty sure that would have... a giant cow prod. Yeah. Ouch. A lot of electricity. Yeah, there, it knocked the dinosaur over completely without issue. Uh, but her, it just kind of knocked her away a little bit. I like how she shone the laser on her and the dinosaur wasn't even looking to see the laser, but it somehow Apparently, knows to go after her now. Yeah, I know. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Apparently the laser like radioactively marks it, I guess. I don't know. Grant, I do, I do know that the military has la laser guided ammunition, but I don't know if they have to keep the laser on target for the, for the missile to go to target. I, just, I don't know. 
I mean, like, I can see how other things you could, like, code, I guess. You have a gun! Shoot the fucking thing in the head! God! Yeah, and what is going on right now? I don't get... I, he shot the door so he could get out, but he never tried to turn the gun on the animal and shoot it. I don't know. Ow. Yeah, oh yeah, that's a great thing to have in your living room. And she, yeah, just, oh my god, right on time for this lady, too. Ow. Yep, that's gonna hurt. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. You have guns, you asshole! Shoot them! How is this hand thing working on every I don't dinosaur? Know. I don't know, especially a dinosaur that wants to kill him. I don't know. It makes him look bigger. That's not helping, Owen. Again, shoot her! Shoot her! Just shoot her! She's not cooperating. She's actively trying to kill you. She shoot literally, her. like, put marks on three people. Yeah. And I still don't understand how a laser is going to mark someone if they don't see the laser. I don't either. Again, just shoot her. They have really good sense of smell. You can't yeah, here, apparently she can laser. From, I don't oh know. my god! She's doing it again. Where was that other dinosaur even at? How does the second one know to go after him? I don't know. I don't like know. Like shooting someone with Although a laser doesn't like automatically send your scent to the dinosaur for them to jacket. track you. Do they have a hive mind? Yeah. If one of them gets your scent, do they all know your scent? Uh, that would actually make more sense than what we're given. What the heck is she gonna do with the shovel? Ouch. Roar. I don't know if that would actually work in real life, but hey, why not? Okay, so there are apparently four dinosaurs. We only saw four of them got released. And why are they going after the, the other dude? There are still dude? four of them out here now. Like, I don't know. four people were marked. I don't... Did one of them die? I honestly don't remember. Yeah, one of them died. Uh, one of, we saw okay. one of them get, cap, get tackled, but apparently... Uh, I don't know. So, but, like, we he's, don't know been what marked, he's been marked. And the original... Like, his original friend is still marked as well. Why yeah. aren't they going after him still? No idea. Ouch. Yeah, we saw a dinosaur get hit by a car earlier. Yeah, here, uh, the car and Taurus are loose. And this guy gets to get ridden right off a scooter because why the flip not? Yep. <clears throat> and these dinosaurs are clearly not trying to attack him because if they were, they would have been, they would have tackled him by now. Apparently, Owen knows exactly where to go, even though he was not in sight of the car. I don't know. They told him to go to the airfield north of the city. Oh, did they? Okay, I missed that. Yeah, they they did have a conversation. I, they called him or radioed him or something, but yeah. Okay. How he Here knows he to get there direction-wise, I don't know, but I guess he's just generally going north looking for an airfield. Yeah, I guess. Pull up. That's not how things work. In the fridge? Yeah, here. Okay, how's he going to get on the moving plane? We're going to open up the back and he's going to drive right on. Aren't the two dinosaurs aren't going to run in with him? Oh, uh, just watch. You'll see. Okay, so the two dinosaurs are going to run in with him. Yeah, because uh, we saw that the dinosaurs could outrun him earlier, but apparently they can't anymore. Maybe they're getting tired, I guess. I don't know. Go faster. Let's go faster. Let's go faster. 
Yeah, by the way, the plane be off the ground by now. One of them just tripped, I guess. I don't know. Grab onto something, dude. Whee! That's how I take care of it. The motorcycle will just knock him out. Alright, that makes sense. Yeah. So, these things the door. still have to, like, be chasing them, though, right? Because she said they chase you until someone's dead. So, are the, are the yeah, three other dinosaurs going to, like, just... show up later to go after them? Nope, the dinosaurs don't show up. Those dinosaurs don't show up ever again. Then what was the point of that statement? This movie just could have been so little much cooler. tracking, just that little shot that we got there. I don't know. No. Hmm. Dumb. Yeah. <laughs> well i mean in his defense if someone like i would be skeptical i'm like is this a setup somehow yeah. like this seems too good to be true which means it probably is yes so, definitely it's a trap <laughs> why not why not I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I get why he's asking questions. Baby Pyroraptor. No, we just saw a little baby Pyroraptor there, which is very cute. I love it. Although they get much bigger than that, I don't think. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, here. Yeah, it's like, it's pretty clear that he, yeah, oh, the Hyperloop, uh, because Elon Musk apparently had his hand in this, even though I, it's, is there a Hyperloop station that is actually <laughs> functional yet? I don't believe so. I don't know. Yeah, and we're just going to let them go tour the facility themselves without any sort of. Oh, I'm pretty sure that watching. guy is in on it because he purposely looked at the camera. Yeah, yeah, he is. Uh, yeah, I know, but still, it's like no one else is raising any questions. Yeah, um, here they set up that they just want her blood. They don't actually need her. They just need her blood. Why don't they just go up and be like, hey, can we get a vial of your blood, please? We'll pay you $100,000. Why? What? Yeah. That made zero sense. Yeah. Yeah. See, they they have a, they're both clones. They're somehow. Yeah. Just... Yeah, but here's here's one thing that I think they should have been um, earlier in the movie where they're like where she's constantly going out and you know going past the bridge for reasons. Why didn't they just have her going out and hang? out with beta that way it makes sense that beta actually you know looks at you know trust her basically because it's clear that beta at least trust her but yeah do you know about your mother yeah here they're retconning what we saw in the last movie Yeah, they just got the they just got the actress to play two roles. So Charlotte was the grandpa was that old guy's daughter from the last movie, and she apparently had another daughter that she somehow I don't know that she cloned into herself. I guess I don't know. Yeah, she cloned sense. herself. Yep, because apparently she couldn't just get you know married. I guess I don't know. Wait, so he's saying Charlotte lived on the island with the first Jurassic Park? Pretty much. Yep. Sure. Yeah, and apparently Charlotte was a lot was a lot more intelligent than anybody else ever. So I don't know. This doesn't make any sense. Yep. 
Yeah, here she's very clearly very pregnant. <laughs> Again, I, 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 why would, why would what? she bother create, cloning herself and just getting a husband? I don't know. It's more fun that way. What, she She's a scientist, I guess? and she wanted to see if she could clone something, so she did. Why not clone yourself and artificially inseminate yourself with your own clone? I don't That's what know. She did. That's what she did. Yeah, I would think it'd be. I think it'd be better to just you know have a you know have a kid the normal way. But no, she, we're just gonna completely clone herself. Yeah, and there this this bug this bugged me. She all she has a incur a disease like a genetic disorder of some kind, but she somehow developed a cure that would cure as he just said every cell in her body. And and, and by the way, he she did this after she was born. She cured yeah. her after, so she couldn't cure herself the same way. Apparently not. Yeah, even though, from what I understand, uh, the this genetic disorder, you'd have to cure it by fixing the by mucking with the genetics. I don't think that would actually work. <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. What you're saying is a clone girl is a dinosaur. How did her mother cure her from a genetic disease by altering her genetics? after she was born you don't you can't well that's what I they don't did no i don't know it doesn't make any sense that's because what they're claiming usually if you mess, if you usually if you they mess specifically with said her mother didn't know she die. had the disease until after Maisie was born and then cured Maisie of it by altering her genetics so she added frog dna <laughs> <She> added frog <laughs> DNA. <laughs> all right james we'll, we'll go with that at this point, because the, they're talking about gene splicing, they yeah. spliced the genes of an already born kid and added frog DNA. Yeah. Well, except they said monitor lizard, I think. Because I remember the monitor lizards were a big, they're a big part uh, of my... They said they built Blue with a monitor lizard. And that's how Blue was able to have a kid. Because I guess monitor lizards don't need a mate to have babies. But then here's. But then my question is, why did they need to get Beta? Why couldn't they just go grab a monitor lizard? Uh, I missed that part, but it was something about um, Blue's DNA may or may not be the same. They wanted to check it to see if it actually was an exact replica. I think I'm not sure. We were talking. I missed it. I'm sure they had some kind of BS explanation. We just missed it. Fair enough. Yeah, apparently these giant ass locusts can hide in that little bit of hay there. Well, if there's one locust in each thing of hay. No, there's like a couple hundred. In each thing of hay. Well, not not in each thing, but there's a couple hundred in that in that facility. So I don't think there'd be so there's gonna be like probably three, four, maybe even a dozen. Don't take the mask <laughs> off, you morons! I'm in here perfectly fine with the mask still on. Yeah. Oh my god. You couldn't just like sneak some video. You have to take the whole thing. Yeah, I think they just need the blood. Uh, what's she gonna do? <laughs> yeah, here. They're filling, yeah, they're complete. This, by the way, this doesn't work. If, if you muck with the genetics of something, it kills it. You don't, it, that's that's you I don't know. probably induce some kind of weird cancer. Yeah, and you guys can test it Well, they're saying you could totally change the DNA of a living person in every cell, nope, and Cure a disease that way. And you were correct. I was crazy. You just free beta. <laughs> yeah. But here you see, yeah, they're like at least a couple hundred in that one little room. I don't know where they were all hiding earlier. But yeah, now they're everywhere. This is great. Did she she let blue out of the cage. Is that what started this? This is great. Yeah, uh, she let blue out of the cage and then the guy hit a security measure. 
Oh no, she dropped her bracelet. That's going to be yeah. an issue when she tries to get on the train later. Beta's breaking everything. Wrecking up shop. Well, Let's know, go. I don't know why you're keeping the live subject in the same lab with all the breakable shit to begin with. I don't either. It doesn't make any sense. None of it makes any sense. I think they would be poisoned. At least have the mask over your mouth, you morons. Cheese and crackers. I would think that whole double chamber would be it sprays the gas that kills the bugs in case they get out, but is fine for you. Maybe. I, otherwise, what's the point of the gas in that double chamber? Well, they, you are supposed to be wearing masks, so maybe the mask could protect you. That mask not is not filtering out gases. It's I don't know. Simple, like, it Apparently she knows like these guys, by the way. Yeah, Macy knows these two. She just inherently knows them because her mother knew them. I guess. I don't know. Except her mother never met them either. It's fine. Yeah, and she recognizes, they recognize her apparently by name, I guess. I don't know. Oh, maybe they did know her mother then. I don't know. No, that's excellent. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thanks. We should go. Yeah, then go. I get the feeling this lady feels bad for delivering Maisie to begin with. I guess. Apparently she knows this girl and Yeah. And clearly it's not. I don't know. Why don't they just let her land but not let her you know, just keep an eye on the because it's not like they can exactly hide anywhere. You got a clear eye on the plane when it lands. You can kill it, keep an eye on it, make sure that no one goes anywhere. Yeah, like you could totally quarantine anything and everyone on that plane. Easily, easily. They also could just shoot it down for funsies. Oh, no, they don't actually have, have weapons. They're just going to stick dinosaurs on them. Get squad a -less. Yes, it's another plane. Yeah. I just, in my oh, mind, so the, like, Padme meme just popped in my head. That's another plane, right? That's another plane, right? <laughs> and then Anakin's face is just like, sure. Yeah. Yeah. A, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But yeah, no, we're just going to stick a dinosaur on the plane because apparently we have no aerial defense. And that dinosaur knows exactly how to fuck that plane up, no problem. They somehow trained these dinosaurs very well. Yeah. Yeah, And apparently really? there's only one ejection chair. Yeah, she's got one ejection chair, and it's not on her chair. It's not on her chair. It's on the passenger chair. That makes absolutely no sense, by the way. Just shoot her. Just or launch it. You don't need to sit here having this conversation. Just go. Okay. Hold the ejection handle. Just do it. Whee! I 
I feel like they probably just strapped her ass to a freaking roller coaster and just said, "Woohoo!" Probably. That would be the easiest way to. That would be the easiest way to get that shot. <laughs> you know yeah. what? I the, don't think Eve Decky was a great idea. Yeah. 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 Uh, don't worry, she's got a backup shoot. Does she? Yep. Yep, she landed. She's in the trees somehow. She landed very quickly. Yeah, that's pretty much... I don't know what you're expecting for there. You try to land it on a body of water or some stretch where you can crash land. I guess. I don't know. Uh, no, I mean, like, that's what you would do. You would try to find a place where you could crash land the plane. Except you're not... She's got no way of slowing it down. So your best hope would be a long strip of nothing to crash land on and slowly come to a stop. Yeah. Oh gosh, yeah. Here, they apparently didn't piece together that he's in on it. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Apparently, she's a really good hiding. Well, he wasn't really expecting another person. Yeah, fair enough. Like, I like how he knows who she is, but didn't really react other than that. Like, yeah, did he know she was the, huh. there? Like, I don't understand. I uh... She's caught in the trees in a swamp. There's a lot of trees. Wow, her hair somehow came undone, and yet it's still so nicely wavy. Yeah, I know. Let me tell you how my hair would look after that. <laughs> we're in it. Yeah. I guess what that deer was imported so that the Giganosaurus has something to feed on. Uh, Giganotosaurus. Where yeah. this is going? Uh, it's actually not the Giganotosaurus that we see here. It's something else. A T Rex? No. Oh. It's a Theranosaurus, uh, I think it's called. It's a herbivore. But it's got claws like a hair. But it's got massive fucking claws. And apparently it's blind, I guess, because it doesn't see her. Yeah. Like I said, I think I don't remember exact. I don't remember exactly. I think it's a Theranosaurus, and yeah, you see, it's got giant <laughs> flipping claws, uh, gosh. Well, you be in the kitchen, and it just decides to fuck up a deer because why not? It saw you when it walked by you, and it didn't care. So, but apparently, it cares now that you're on the ground. I guess I don't know. Yeah, I don't see why the dinosaur would see her as a threat just because she's suddenly on the ground. I don't either. But I love the claws, I guess, for defense purposes if it's an herbivore. Don't ask me. I don't know how evolution how evolution works, but that's from, from, from what we found. This, this terror bird of species had giant fucking claws. Sloths also have giant claws, and they don't really, they use them for climbing. Like, yeah, I just don't see why this thing would, like, want to hunt her and kill why her. Why it would go after her at all. Yeah. yeah if it's so not crawl, a hunter and it's an herbivore, this block, this is a why is it idea. hunting her right now? This makes no sense. I don't know. It smells the laser beams. <laughs> or it just happened to suddenly want to drink at this moment in time? No. Nah. Well, you clearly see it here. It was after her. Yeah, that makes no Apparently sense. Apparently, he thinks it's, that she's dead. That's stagnant. Water. Oh, I, I will say this is a this anyway. is a cool shot. I'm having 
of having this thing right above the water. Then we come underneath the water. She's right there. It's a good shot. I got it. I will give them points there, but. But yeah, she could apparently hear it walking away, I guess. I mean, you'd probably feel it. That's heavy. Yeah, good point. Good point. You know, with the, yeah, we get the whole T-Rex ripple After effect thing going. After holding your breath cool that long moment. underwater, though, I don't know how she didn't manage to immediately come up and go. <gasps> yeah. I don't know about you, but when I hold my breath underwater for time. way too long, I do not calmly come up like that. Yeah. But the part that gets me, they crashed on ice. And wow, they crashed pretty dead. bad. Yeah. But that's but that's clearly ice there. So how is it that she's not, that where Claire is is not frozen over too? Is there I that asked much of a that when they were there? in Texas or, or wherever they lived in earlier, Alaska? I think they were in Alaska. No, I'm just saying there where where they are, it's frozen enough that they can walk on the ice. But where yeah. Claire is, it's totally fine. There's no ice at all. Yeah, I guess. There, that was with temperature but variation. I like how that was different. super thick ice. You can see the chunks of it around the plane. Yeah. But it's cracking under their feet. Yep. That is not how you walk on water or on yeah. ice. You walk like a penguin. Mm -hmm. He's walking like you kind of would on ice. She is not. You yeah. would not go heel toe like that. You mm -hmm. waddle like a penguin with flat feet, otherwise you slip and fall. Mm -hmm. Or or if you're worried about the ice breaking underneath you, what I've always said to do is lay down and then kind of belly yeah, you crawl. Spread your, as, spread your weight as much over area as possible. Yeah. So that you don't crash into the ice like that. <laughs> They're getting closer to the edge. The ice would be getting thicker. Yep. Utah Man, Raptor. This is one of my favorite dinosaurs. Utah Raptor right there. I love it. He has a knife. What is he going to do with that knife? Stab it in its neck. God, he'd have to be so close. He probably wouldn't yeah. have a hand. Well, let me put it this way. The dinosaur would be fucking fucking you up very badly by the time That's he's actually I mean. using it. If he's close enough to use that knife, the dinosaur probably has a piece of him in its mouth. Yes, at least. But Utah Raptor can swim. Oh, that's bad. Yeah. Again, that ice was so much thicker around the plane. Yeah, I know. Which is in the middle of the pond. They're closer to the edge now. The ice should be thick. Yeah. Oh my god. And here, Before. apparently the dinosaur just doesn't want to come up and eat him. It just wants to swim around him real quick. I like it. Don't swim away. You're never coming back up for air. Yeah. Wait, god, you didn't so jump up with him? Cold. What is going on? Yeah, it's still swimming. There we go. Apparently, uh, apparently, just uh, didn't attack them. It just kind of stood there for a second. I want to yeah, know whether they have to be able to run across the ice that fast. Roar. I'm pretty sure it could break through that chain, no problem. For sure. <laughs> No, that that a little that would probably scare it off though. <laughs> Why she didn't do that earlier, I don't know, but hey. When did she have the chance to be that close and do that earlier? When it was charging at them when they were on the when they were first it's getting out taser. of the water. It's a taser. You got to touch it. It's what he used on the chick in the apartment. Yeah, I know, but it, when it when they first got onto the balcony, they or the railing, they could have used it because it was right there. Yeah. Okay. I don't know why it took her so long after they got in there then, if that's what you're saying. Yeah. Why can't I, I like redheads too. I don't know where that comes from, but hey, why not? Um, why not? They're getting to know each other and yep. how Yeah. 
Hey, wait, we hold on. We saw that uh, Ian Malcolm had backed away what? from the camera view. Yeah, him. exactly. They purposely backed away from the camera and he but slid it into her pocket so his body would have been to the camera anyway, even if it had been on camera. Yeah, but apparently the, the, camera, the camera that. saw it, apparently. But yeah, the camera apparently saw it. Like, no, this makes any sense. Yeah, apparently Ellie Sattler knew her mom. I don't know how, but because I don't think she dinosaurs. Ever... It's not yeah, that. Oh, here crazy. we go. A few years after Hammond died, uh, she apparently met her. I guess I don't know. Apparently, Ellie's got a very good memory to her. Yeah, and like I said, apparently uh, Charlotte was apparently just miles ahead of everybody else, and yeah. I mean, it, it, it could, but it would have been. You can't change the DNA of yeah. someone who's already living. I don't know. I still don't understand if she was able to. I don't. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Like I said, I'm still just trying to piece together why the hell did they, did she clone herself instead of just having a child the normal way? I don't know, but hey. Because not everybody has a boyfriend or a guy in their life for that. I don't think it's that hard and to get a boyfriend. people don't want to just go and have one night stands with random dudes just to get pregnant. Fair point. <laughs> I don't know. I still think she probably could have found a boyfriend, but... No, it's not. I mean, if she worked too much and didn't have the time, it's hard to yeah. find people. Yeah, when you're super smart, yeah, you gotta clone yourself. Um. Yeah. Yeah. And there's other, there. well, again, these are not dinosaurs that we see here. They're prehistoric lizards. But we'll get a clear sight of them later. Are they gonna kill this dude because they know he helped them somehow? Or no? No. Yeah, they just fired Ian Malcolm. Yeah, here he's like, oh, yes, I'm so upset that you're firing me. Oh, man, I'm clearly so upset. Yeah, and there, your acting is very bad if you're trying to. Again, he's supposed to be your right hand man. I'm pretty sure he's well within his lane to say send security to get them. Uh, he's exerting his power, and he doesn't like other people taking the power away from him. Yeah, that's what that is. Yeah, but here uh, Ian Malcolm is just gonna hit, give an entire speech to this crew of people right here, and this guy's just gonna let him have this speech instead of like, okay, security escort him from the building. Well. So he, he fired him in front of a crowd. This is why when you fire someone, you take them into a conference room and you have security there to immediately take them out. Yeah. He said this. He fired him in front of a crowd. This is what happens when you do that. Yeah. But he's, and he's Like I said, there's security guy right there, but he's still just letting him just spout off. That's what's yeah. going on, dude. I don't know. Hold on. Uh, I don't. I don't remember who Prometheus was. You don't know the story of Prometheus? I know. I know the story, but I can't remember which one it is. He's the one that gave humans fire. Zeus. Got oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes. Item to a rock and an eagle. For some reason. For some reason, I was thinking that he was the guy with the wax wings, but that's Daedalus. That's Icarus. That's Daedalus, yeah. Daedalus was Icarus's father, yes. Yeah. Like I said, Icarus I knew, like, you know, when you said the fire, I, I remember. Because, like I said, I knew the story, but I just couldn't figure, remember which remember story which it was. Yeah. 
Uh, a lot of tech movies like this like to refer to Prometheus because it's the question of just because you can doesn't mean you should. Yeah. I mean, that's why one of the Aliens movies is flat out called Prometheus. The Frankenstein story is known as the modern day Prometheus. It's yeah. it's the tech uh, allegory every time. Yep. They found the deer that the Theronosaurus fucked up. D-Rex! What, what was that? What was that? What, the they see the dead deer, and she coyly looks over at him and smiles and blinks a lot. I don't know. <laughs> what? <laughs> that was a weird scene. I'm pretty sure the T-Rex wouldn't come up and, you know, sniff you know, find the meat and then, you know, snip it and roll it around. I'm pretty sure just eat it, but. Is this. Oh, yeah, wait, it's, what just, is this? it's just playing around with it right now instead of just eating it. I don't know about you, but my cats play around with their food all the time before playing it, and I'm not being sarcastic. An Autosaurus. That's not an Allosaurus. Yeah. Allosaurus would be tiny in comparison. Well, Actually, um, hold on. Giganotosaurus did not thought is is believed that T Rex was bigger than Giganotosaurus. I don't know where that comes from, but should be mentioned generally in contest of between predators over food. Generally, it does not get physical. Generally, it's a lot of you know huffing and puffing until one just says goes away. If they're both carnivores and predators, would they actually eat the already dead deer? I know T-Rex would because T-Rex was, we believe anyway, that T-Rex was mostly a scavenger. So yeah, would so he, that makes sense. So would happily eat it. Uh, I'm not sure about Giganotosaurus. They have flashlights, so I'm wondering why you have a torch when you have flashlights, but... In case the battery dies on the flashlight? Nah, fair oh, enough. Oh, also, maybe. the flashlight will tell you if the air is, or the fire will tell you if the air is any good. Because if it goes out, you're probably already suffocating, come to think of it. Yeah. If the, I think the fire would just use more oxygen than, than you need to. <laughs> yes, but as long as it's burning, you know there's oxygen and you can Oh, the canary it. in the gold mine type thing? Okay. Yes. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> And unfortunately, they don't have a canary. Yeah, and like, yeah, he, she she's putting two and two together there. Yeah, oh, these roads are protected? I drive fast. Okay, yeah, great. I like how it's always... Is this a Hummer? I guess it's better than a Jeep. Yeah. Did they make... Did they I don't make know, I've actually had to... That are, like, dinosaur-proof? I don't know. Okay, you know, it, it is just a Jeep. It's not a Hummer. Yeah. I was just saying, if, if it was a Hummer, oh my god, I would feel so bad for him. <laughs> I feel like they should have made a Jeep that was dinosaur-proof. Yeah, you After think? Well, I mean, the, the military has a Jeep that is pretty much dinosaur, would be dinosaur-proof. It's called the Buffalo. It's huge. It's got big armored wheels and we, oh man. Well, if you're going out into dinosaur country, you but... would want a vehicle that's dinosaur-proof. I mean, yeah. me and Malcolm got injured the first time because he was in a Jeep that was not dinosaur-proof. Well, technically, he got injured in the first time because he got out of the damn Jeep and ran. The kids got fucked up because they were in a car that was not dinosaur-proof, though. Yeah, he got scared and ran because he realized the Jeep was not dinosaur-proof. I don't blame him. Yeah, yeah. here we go. This, this is a prime thing of, okay, he can't see anything up there, but as soon as he gets the torch, he sees Diametrodon was standing right there. And thank God, predators always mug for the camera. They don't just attack you. They just they got to roar first. <laughs> I don't get it. The di it was standing right freaking there. Why did it not just bite him? It's got to roar first. I like how she grabs her human skull. But why is there a human skull in this cave? Just 
Bio Why Sid, does he need his hat? I don't know. Because he needs to be Indiana Jones. Well, the dinosaur has it now, so. Yep, here come Ian Malcolm to save the day. I didn't know there was going to be good. Just start right punching in numbers, I think. Oh, my God. Just start opening oh, shit. The mouth, yeah, he's just trying random numbers. Why would it be Miles Davis's birthday? I, I have no idea. I mean, why didn't he at least let you know that there was a gate there? Oh, Maybe he worry. didn't know there was a gate with a code either. I mean, well, there, he's on camera that he can clearly see there's a gate there. Well, he sees it now. Maybe he doesn't know there's a code either. He knows the code, though. He just opened it for him, so he know the, knew the code. <laughs> Ugh. Was that his plan the whole time, just to watch on the camera and open it from afar? I guess. I don't know. All right. Would you put the DNA somewhere where it's not going to break? Yeah. Oh, man. I think, th is this where we get the Dilophosaurus scenes? I think. Yep. <laughs> Pretty sure you recognize that sound. No, Grant, I already spoiled it, but. I don't know the names of the dinosaurs, so I don't know what it is. Oh. Is it the one that spits acid in your face? Yes. Oh, nice. <laughs> the one that killed Newman? Yep. Dilophosaurus is what they're called, but yeah. I remember them being smaller. There are multiple. Yeah. <laughs> Screw this place. Yeah. She's like, why did I eject? Screw this place. I'm going to die. Yep. She's escaped from dinosaurs twice in her life already. And now she's got to do it again. The third time. Yep. And here, this is the last thing you ever want to do if you're facing a predator. Get low. And again, thank God the dinosaur has to mug for the camera and sit here staring at her and mug. Yeah, Why did she get camera. low? This thing was obviously like at her waist. She could have freaking kicked it in the chin. Yeah. What the what? heck? Yeah, she tore off a bit of its uh, um, ruffle, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, thank God the dinosaur decides it has to mug instead of just attacking. Giving, yeah, I don't know. But why did she get low to face it face to face? If it was I like, don't know. If I that saw a dinosaur come up to my stomach, I'd be like, okay, I'm not going to like crouch down so I can be face to face with it. Yeah. It, like I said, that's the last thing you ever want to do when facing a predator. If, you, if you're against a predator, you want to look big tough and scary make it look like you are not something to screw around with How did so i mean heck she was wearing a jacket what she could have done is lifted her jacket up over her head like this yes okay i get it that was dumb but they just said the locust infestation jumped continents so how did these things fly across either ocean i don't know <laughs> apparently they got wingspans that they can or apparently they got on a boat, I guess. I don't know. Oh, we're going to set them on fire, though. It's too late. It is too late. You got to keep I these ones to figure out how to kill them. Because now they're worldwide. And you have no way to kill them. I'm, a, I'm, I'm thinking what his plan is, is if he kills these ones, 
there's no way they can that the that the in, the inevitable investigation that's bound to happen can tie it back to him, even though there's going to be plenty of flipping paperwork saying, by the way, you did this. Now he's going to kill everyone involved. No one's ever going to know. Destroy uh, the computers. Guess. Kill everyone involved. Yeah. Oh, they're escaping. They're on fire and they're escaping. Oh, that's. I don't even know. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I love how you're just like, you don't even care, Kai, anymore. That was a lot of locusts that was in that tiny room, and I don't really understand how. I don't either. I also yeah. like how they're on fire. Yeah. That is not right. Yeah, and yeah, now they're just going to start a flipping wildfire. <laughs> yeah, uh, this doesn't exactly get rid of all the evidence, because like I said, most of it's going to be in paperwork and shit. <laughs> Slow down. What? How does... Okay, you know what? Yes. <laughs> You're not even trying anymore. <laughs> like, I get the vehicle was on fire, but how did he accidentally, like, drive off the road? I don't know. You should probably get out of the car. We What? I'm sorry, the majority of that car was still on the road? Yep. I don't understand how like any of that just okay, sure. I don't know. Yeah, here we here the the new heroes meet up with the old heroes. I just get a kick out of the fact that the knee ends upside down again. Yeah, they're busy. <coughs> <coughs> How can you not hear her? Gosh. Plus, like, even he if he sees could... them from the car, they clear. They they must have seen that car flip over. Yeah. Yeah, what? you're the one who kidnapped me. <laughs> yep. Oh, it's raining. That's fun. There or here or no, I'm not no there. Okay. It is raining here. Can you actually hear the thunder? No. No. Oh. We've been getting a little bit of thunder uh, here. Yeah, around. they just had to have the two female leads in that shot, even though what's your face has nothing on Ellie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nothing on her. Nothing Claire on her. Claire has nothing on Ellie. Oh uh, no. yeah, here we go. Claire is such a subpar character compared to Ellie. Oh yeah. I will drink to that. Giganotosaurus is here to look at them menacingly and not eat them. And they're going to bring back the original. If you don't move, they can't see you. Oh, it sees them. It just apparently doesn't see them, I guess. I don't know. Because it's heavily implied it's, it sees them, but it just doesn't do anything. It was not the biggest carnivore the world has ever seen. Okay, Grant, I'll, I'll, I'll clarify. We don't actually know because we have so few fossil evidence of Giganotosaurus. But from based on what we have found, it was about, it was similar size to T-Rex, probably a little bit smaller. So, yeah, it was looking right at them, but they hide behind the car and now can't see them, I guess. I don't know. Even though it's above them and can see over the, they just wanted to recreate the T-Rex shot from the first movie. I think so. 
That's what that was right there. It could see. It can clearly see Ian right here, but it's not going to do anything. <laughs> yeah, Ian has. Ian just like, all right, duck in the car. <laughs> and just completely ignores him, I guess. And here, I don't know how strong that metal would be. I don't know how strong the bite strength would be. Keep going. Don't yeah, stop. Yeah, you don't. Yeah, you, don't. Don't just sit there. Go. Either climb. drop and fall, or keep climbing. But yeah. if you stay there, you will die. Yeah. They all got up the the, the, the ladder very quickly. But here it's time for Ian to save the world or save the day. Because again, job. the you dinosaurs got to stand up and roar instead of just eating them. What? What? What, what is? Okay. He's got to save the world. He got to save the day. Is it? I don't remember. Sure. He waved something. Okay, because the, the dinosaurs got a mug instead of just eating. Sam Neil. Yeah. He had a flare. Uh, that's right, too. I don't know if that would actually work or not. But was Ian Malcolm around when he did that? I'm not sure. Yeah, at this point, they're just recreating the first movie poorly. Yeah, they're mo they're, it's... they're going for nostalgia. Yeah. Which, mind you, is the only reason why people went to see this movie in theaters. Yes. <laughs> yeah, thanks, thanks, Claire. Yeah, Maybe we shouldn't run. There, um, you know, there's only a giant dinosaur chasing us. Let's do anything but run. Yeah, clearly. A uh, good thing the two old dudes are already inside, so that the even though they were the last ones in earlier, now they're the now they were like the first ones. But you needed there. Chris and Pratt. Dude... Nope, he's gonna die now. Oh no! There's a lot of people here to not kill by the end of the movie. Someone's gotta die, right? She can no, die. Let them die, unfortunately, Jesus even though I think they should. She's no, got the right the idea. Girl, that's just cheap. She actually has the right idea of actually. <laughs> oh my god, yes, please hold your hand out to calm the dinosaur. Oh my god, yeah, he's stabbing it with his knife! Oh my god. At least she had the right idea of going for the eye. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that thing would run off at this point. Now there's a giant wildfire. Oh, wow. This is like the second movie where they saved everybody from the volcano. Yeah. And they've just recreated the same thing to kill everything. Oh, my God. Yeah, and here, his right-hand man is no longer doing his shit. It's like, okay... What what is that? I don't know what this is. He's just having a fucking mental breakdown, I guess. That's exactly what it is. Super cantrip. And like I said, thank God they have they can mind control the dinosaurs. Uh, yeah. And apparently, uh, apparently, when in case of emergency, the dinosaurs are all forced to gather in one spot, which just so happens to be where they're all at right now, I guess. Wait, why would that be your plan? I don't know. I have no idea. So they're going to evacuate the people as all the dinosaurs come to their location. I mean, I guess that saves on building costs if everything takes place in the same building. But. Yeah, you trained raptors. <laughs> what happened to the baby raptor? Uh, she let it out. It's running around somewhere. Yeah, yeah at least one of them is worried about escaping. <laughs> Can all six of you fit in it? Eight of you. Can all eight of eight of you fit in it? I guess. Seven. 
let's see. We saw from the one we saw earlier. There's a max. There's a max seating capacity of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Are they going to have to turn the ADS back on if they're evacuating people? That's what they just said. Okay. Yeah. Oh, well, well, not, but it's not on now. It's not yeah. on automatically, which you think it would be. But I mean, I know Denise shut it off to go after her plane, but I would think that it would be like it would be automatically turned back on in case of evacuation. Right. Like you just shut it off and it stays off for five minutes. You fuck up the plane that you meant to mess up, and then it goes back on and everybody chills again. Yeah, you think, but no. But you, but like I said, you'd think that'd be an automatic, you know, it would just automatically turn on in case of evacuation. Because the last thing you want to do is have a bunch of evacuation planes being fucked up by pterosaurs. Yeah, it seems like a poor evacuation plan. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and the, the Barbasol can, because why not, I guess. <laughs> <clears throat> How can you get money? Your your entire business plan is being burned around you quite literally. How how do you expect to avoid jail time in any regard? I don't know. Why is he even talking to the no, suit? The There's an evacuation fire, plan going I on. I think it's like I think he's like they're going to take the time to help. talk to this dude. Why? Yeah, apparently you're. Yeah, apparently he's just messing that. Yeah, you set me up. I hope he came in here to talk to him just to like handcuff him to the chair so he dies. Unfortunately, no. I wished that too, but no. Why did Ramsey come talk to him during an evacuation? That better. That's the only reason. If Ramsey doesn't kill the no, what? No, now you're gonna die. He's gonna kill you. That's how this goes. You that that's so not how it stupid. should go, but it doesn't, Why? unfortunately. Someone should have died in that scene. Yeah. You know, the first Jurassic Park was good because they weren't afraid to kill people. Right. Only one more the person. Movie died in general, the not the people, yeah. obviously. Yeah, I know, I know. It wasn't afraid to bra raise the tension. Where did he come from? Apparently he was in the same building. That's how Samuel Jackson died in the first one. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, they gotta save the baby Velociraptor too. And you, I do love that bit. You gave her a name. Why not? Well, he was telling Ian before how he has a bond with them, and Ian was like, "Yeah, yeah I had a dog once." Yeah. <laughs> Again, I think what they should have had is like instead of that first scene where we see Maisie going like going past the bridge to go say hi to the construction workers, I think what we should have seen is her go past the bridge to hang out with Beta and Blue. I think that would have been much more impactful than yeah. seeing the random brontosaurus. So mm -hmm. yeah. Something insane is going to happen. It's got to. Bad guys always die in Jurassic yeah. Park. That's one thing you can at least count on. It's usually a dinosaur that does it. Yes, it's the best. He's not even going to buckle himself in. He doesn't even okay. need a dinosaur to like literally kill him. He just needs one to like crash into his hyperloop, hyperloop and whatever. he will just die on impact. Yeah. I have a lot of... Why do you have regrets? I seriously... Uh, stop with the heart-to-heart. -heart. Get to save it and save it in the damn place. Yeah, I wouldn't be looking back either. I'd be looking forward. Yeah, yeah Laura Dern should know better. Yep. And there are a bunch of bugs laying right there because why the fuck not? 
And there are still apparently bugs that are crashing down, so apparently bugs are still alive. Yeah, we're all disappointed by the bugs in this dinosaur movie too, Claire. Don't worry, you're not the only one. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, here. <laughs> I don't know why they're talking about a Velociraptor like it's the most intelligent dinosaur in the world because we know it's not. But why like, is Alan Grant going with him to get the Velociraptor? I don't know. No well, idea. I was that the Velociraptors are like seven feet tall or eight feet tall and not a turkey. I don't know. It's like, seriously, they have to have this argument about, oh, where's the button? Well, yeah, you want to make sure you hit the right button. Yeah, but they're having an argument instead of just being like, okay, you got to hit this exact button. That's why she was pissed at him. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, you were, okay. In retrospect, he could have just started with that. Yeah. Yeah, and his uh, Hyperloop got shut down. Oh, no. Roar! Of course he's fast! Yeah. Apparently, yeah, this oh is, God. apparently she has powers to connect with the baby blast round track. Yeah. This is what I mean, that's so what Chris did with Blue, but, like, I don't... Sure, yes. Yeah, like I said, had she been had she been spending time with Beta at, like, the beginning of the movie, then this would actually make a bit more sense. But it makes absolutely no sense, considering Beta has seen her a total of two times before Again, now. they have that genetic clone bond, remember? I That's what I've been saying from the They beginning. have a psychic bond between... Yeah. <laughs> They both know they're clones, and they're connected somehow that way. You know what? Fine. Whatever. I'll buy it. <laughs> it makes as much sense as anything else. Yep. Sadly, that is true. And yeah, that tranquilizer worked very fast. It's a small dinosaur. It's meant for a large one. That would kill it. And the bugs are still alive. Why are the bugs still alive? I have no idea. They were burned and on fire. Yeah, they were were they hibernating? Crisp, but yeah, apparently they're Is that still how alive. Bugs work? I don't understand. I don't know. This was a terrible idea. Yeah, and here's it's yeah. Here, we're just scientifically okay. engineered we're touching something. the button doesn't work, so we're just gonna cut the main power line with a hatchet. Yeah, that'll do it. Just cut the main power with an hatchet. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know how that. I don't know how that works though. Okay. Yeah. That. That's how. Cut, that cutting works. a power cable apparently does it. I. I. I yeah. don't know. All right. Cool. Mm -hmm. So, what dinosaur do you think gets in? Do you want me to spoil it or just let it let you guys guess? All right, Marie, what do you think? I think the spitty one. No, they already have the spitty one. Yeah. Where's the T Rex? We haven't seen that yet. Uh, it comes in later. No. Oh. Would it fit in this tunnel though? No. A T Rex would not fit in that tunnel, no way. What is up with these things? The gas expulsions? I have no idea. Is a dinosaur going to randomly appear on the other side of one, despite the fact that he can no, see? You, oh, it is the spitty thing. Dilophosaurus. Good call, babe. <laughs> oh, they kill Newman in the first one, and this movie has done nothing but re like redo had, everything yeah. the first movie did. So, mm -hmm. and he does he have the Barbasol can again? No, yeah, he just dropped it. Uh, he dropped it. Oh, just like yeah, he did, did before he does. So yep, like yep, exact, yep, exactly. Nope, there's a spinny thing. That's exactly what's happening. 
Yep. They decided to just completely do the same thing they did in the first movie. Yep. That, that. How do you work with dinosaurs and not know which one you are looking at? Isn't no that idea. acid it just threw in his face? What's up? Isn't that just acid they just threw in his face? Well, it's technically pet poison. It's not acid, but... No. I love so it'll, it'll fuck it will fuck with your eyes if it gets in your eyes, but otherwise it's not yeah, gonna really like Yoda. I want a Velociraptor backpack. How has nobody made that yet? <laughs> because dress because they're really, really shit at marketing. Their merchandising could use some help. Yeah. Well, like you said, that's a, that's an automatic that's an automatic great idea to have like a Velociraptor backpack or a T-Rex backpack. Because you can like have its mouth be the the part that opens or something. That's an, you know an easy idea, but marketing apparently. But these movies are so bad that marketing just never took off. And Harry Henry will. Chewbacca. Oh my god. Because yeah, God forbid he get out of there already. Which makes absolutely no sense. But sure. Yep. Yeah, and he's saying how he can what, put... What, the, how? The how would changing the DNA of one locust change the DNA of the entire swarm? You're not figuring be, that out in one lifetime. Yeah, I think you'd be better off making a like a virus that would spread from locust to locust to kill that them is, instead of... And that would make more sense DNA. than randomly like changing the DNA of something. <laughs> Roar! Where did everybody else in this complex go? I don't know, but did they get Yeah, I don't know. Apparently, everybody else got How out. How did okay. everybody else evacuate if it wasn't by air? Oh, they're hiding. They're, they're hiding, hiding behind the, the trees. They're hiding in the wildfire. I, I don't know. I don't understand. Did they like? They're not by an ocean. They couldn't have taken a ship somewhere. Did they all take the hyperloop out? Like seriously, how did they all get out? It's uh, about the underground. Yeah. It couldn't have been the underground tunnels. They said earlier there was underground tunnels for them Here to go. Here we go. Here we go. Screen but then they, is that the T Rex? Oh my god. Yeah. And it's instead of doing it in front of the Jurassic Park sign, they do it perfectly in that circle so they could recreate the Jurassic Park logo. Yeah. How cute. How cute. Uh, don't worry. We got to get the fight in, though. So here comes the Aganosaurus, too, because why the fuck not? Oh, yeah. Again, in the first movie, they were saved by the T Rex because of the Velociraptors, or vice versa. I don't really care. So, of, of course, in this movie, <laughs> They're going to get rescued by the dinosaur by another dinosaur because we have to recreate the scenarios of the first movie. Because God forbid we do something original. Yep. They thought that they could go by. Yeah, and there. It's like it's not about us. They're yeah. Then why? Hold on. This bugs me. The people were standing there. The dinosaurs were just waiting. But the the instant the people run away, then the dinosaurs fight. Why wouldn't they just start fighting? But again, in fights like in ter in disputes like this. It is very, very, very rare for it to get physical. Generally, it's a lot of huffing and puffing and roaring, but very, very physical. And God forbid they keep the light on it so we can see what the fuck is happening. Where is the light coming from? The helicopter thing. But yeah, like I said, it's like, what's, what's the fight happening? I don't know. The light's not on it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure T-Rex would be de dead because you had it in a neck grip and crushed it. So you're pretty sure it'd be dead. I'm pretty sure it would just start eating the T-Rex. It's a big source of meat right there for it instead of... Oh, the flare. Oh, yeah, the flare will do it. Oh, yeah, distracting. 
Oh yeah, you said that he had a flare in the first oh, movie. Oh look, it's the Theranosaurus. Because this thing had to be there too, because why not? Isn't that the herbivore? Yes. Why is this herbivore so territorial? I have no idea, because normally it would just fucking run. Yeah, I don't know how many seats are in that. Cause this is I, a really big helicopter. Seven, but apparently it's they got at least nine. Sideways. They have nine people in that helicopter right now? I think... Yeah. And here, T-Rex is out for the count, but don't worry. We're going to shine the flashlight over its eyes a few times. So that it blinks? Yeah, and that it wakes it up, yeah. And he's very angry. And now the the T-Rex and the Theranosaurus are going to gang up on the Giganotosaurus. Why, because why the is the claw thing? I don't understand. Okay, sure. Yeah, oh, but like yeah, that here's that how they kill it. They just ram thing. it directly. It the T-Rex like the rams it into the spike claws. I get. I don't know. Okay, cool. Yeah. Damn, T-Rex didn't do shit on that one. He rammed it into the claws. Oh, Are they besties yeah. now? Apparently, because they just said they're roaring together and they're not fighting in any sort of regard. So I guess they're best friends. They're besties now. Yep. Yep. Yeah, they're packed in there tight. <laughs> Jesus Christ, look at that. <laughs> Jesus uh, Christ. Ian Malcolm is almost in his sexy injured Ian Malcolm pose. Ian Malcolm was sitting on someone's lap. <laughs> even better, even sexier. <laughs> <laughs> and here they're, oh my gosh. Yeah, she's going to be selling a book. <laughs> I mean, they literally owe me a plate. Yeah. Yeah, and here it's like, I got to contact the New York Times and blah, blah. I don't know. Uh, she's got, he's going to go with you because he loves you. Yeah, just. Yeah, why not? <laughs> sure. And here, no one's questioning that she's their daughter, I guess. Why? They, they have no reason to question it. No reason to question it. They don't she have the question of parents, why were you here? Because there were plenty of young kids there listening to Ian Malcolm's Lecture. I don't know. I was I taking. Say, no, I, would, I wouldn't call them kids. I'd call them, you know, young where, adults. Oh my God! Where is Beta in all of this? Who is? Yeah. Who is helping I don't know. them? Who just gave them first aid? I am so confused. <laughs> None of this makes any sense. Yeah. That is yeah, and here there's a little kid beating a dinosaur in the background. A little baby pyroraptor. Why not? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's finish this. Test your. Yeah, here and here. He found a way to, you know, create a. Yeah. Yeah, he created a genetic, a genetic disease. Test. I don't know. Like I said, instead of making like a virus that would just be transmitted from locust to locust, he made a special locust that will somehow breed with the other locust. And I no, he guess. said he, he he created a pathogen. Yeah. So he did create a virus that messes with their DNA. Why wouldn't you have just made a normal virus that would kill them? Well, you don't want to make a virus that could spread cross species. I mean, we are we don't want another coronavirus incident, but so yes, genetically altering DNA. That is Oh, there are more T Rexes. We didn't see them earlier, but there are there, yeah, there's a tell family there. 
I'm assuming the other two were from Isla Sorna and Re- and the one from uh, from Nublar. So probably. I don't know where the baby is though from Isla Sorna though. Oh look, she has another cargo plane. Yeah, they gave her a plane and she just paints a two on it. Well, yeah, because it's the second one. I don't understand why I. I mean, she was a fun secondary character. Don't get me wrong, but yeah. Oh yeah, she was one of the better characters in this movie. Oh look, there's Blue. Beta. Beta, Blue but... Too. Yeah, Blue's gonna be here soon. <laughs> yep. There's Blue. I think you'd probably want to get in the car just in case he decides to fuck you with you up. Is Blue really the only Velociraptor left? Yep. Let's that's, hope so. <laughs> yeah, Blue's the only Velociraptor left. That's okay. She and can, she can clone herself. make her own babies. It's fine. That's fine. Yeah, I don't know. Ugh. None of this movie makes any sense. No, it does not. How did that... Oh, it's gotta come back and say goodbye. How how did that car get there? I don't know. There's plants on all sides. He would have knocked something down when he drove yeah, he would have. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think a Jeep like that would be, have enough power to get through all the ferns and shit like that. Like, even if it did, there would be knocked down plants somewhere where yeah. it drove in. Mm-hmm. You just There'd be a very clear path. <laughs> Thank you. And again, is that really the best animatronic they could do? <laughs> it's not that bad. Ugh. And here again, like I said, where did all these dinosaurs come from? Because there were only a couple hundred that escaped from the manor, but apparently there's several thousand that are all over the place. Yeah, I don't understand how. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, we got horses running with Paraphilophosaurus. Maybe yeah, possible. Sure. Uh huh. Yep. Why not? Paul is hanging out with geese. Uh, that's that not... one. That one I'm really. That one I really doubt because Quetzalcoatlus would probably be eating the geese. Yes. Quetzalcoatlus was very carnivorous. I'm pretty sure the geese would be its primary source of food. Oh, it's probably Most eating the is apparently friends with humpback whales, even though it would alive. certainly be hunting the humpback whales. And there's and Mosasaur was not that big. And the and the um, I like the Triceratops with the elephants. Oh, yeah. can we? I mean, that just looks like it's straight from the Lion King. Yeah. So yeah, this is a bad movie. That was <laughs> Dominion. I hate this movie. It's shit. Yeah, I don't feel the need to ever watch that again. Yeah, me neither. I'm glad I was doing other things through most of it. I lucky I you <laughs> that they brought back the original cast. But I feel let down by the story they decided to tell with the original cast. Yeah. It, but like you were saying, it's just they just remade the first one, just rehash all the same plot points we've already done. So God forbid we do something new and original, but very so. similar to Force Awakens, only dumber. Yes. So yeah. Like that's just the thing, like Everybody made fun of The Force Awakens for doing it, so they decided it was a good idea to do the same thing. Yep, yeah. apparently. Live Gotham action is- dinosaurs by. What? Oh, apparently it's now recommending that I watch The Meg. Oh, God. Oh, it's I've telling you to watch The Meg. Movie, with so I don't know. It. I think What's it's up? Pratt in it. Yeah. Clearly, it knows we watched this movie for Chris Pratt, and it knows Jacob watched it for the dinosaur. <laughs> Why not? So the Meg, the Meg, yeah, oh. the Jason Statham <laughs> Meg movie. I don't know. I've never actually seen that. So, I mean, that's also going to be a terrible one. 
Great. The Megalodon. I'll I'll let Marie decide what we watch next week. That or not next week because there's no way I, I'm going to be busy this this next week. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, because we've unfortunately waited too long to put the damn screens up. So next week, regardless of weather, we're going to have to put them up. So, yeah, that's fine. So yeah, I'll let you decide what we watch next because yeah, that movie was shit. <laughs> so thank you everybody for joining us. Hopefully, we don't have any as many technical difficulties as they did this week. No comment. Anyway, bye. <laughs> So. Yeah, that